Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on October 1st, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to October. Welcome to the Daily Do. Giving you your space weather update, as well as earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here looking at our sun as we're reporting today one of the strongest X-class solar flares that I've ever reported on this channel, Daily Events Worldwide. For seven years, I've been providing you services looking at our sun, entering into solar cycle 25, and this is now our strongest X-class solar flare being reported and visualized here with Daily Events Worldwide. Look at that big flash, Earth-facing Having a look at outgoing imagery here, we did have a pretty large plasma blast there. Right-hand side, lots of plasma filaments swirling around the surface. Looking at multi-spectrum here, watching the sunspot region cresting into view. That is where the strong X-class solar flare is. Northern hemisphere, there is a coronal hole deepening and developing. And as well, equatorial region cresting into view plasma filaments definitely keeping an eye on those as well as they are all connected to the sunspots on our sun and right now we have 11 sunspots on our sun and is it coincidental that we have 11 tropical storms across our planet right now not sure but it's definitely interesting as we have 11 tropical storms and 11 sunspot regions right here. 3843 being the culprit of this Earth-facing X-class solar flare. Strong 7.4 class solar flare. Looking at these sunspot regions in motion, watching cresting into limb, there is a very big sunspot region turning in. Watch for the big black hole right there, cresting into view. Stay aware and prepared, and thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up. Current space weather conditions, we are under strong R3 radio blackout impacts expected. Wide area blackouts of high-frequency radio communications. Solar winds are coming in at 400 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux, as you can see here, two healthy spikes. One this morning, M-class solar flare, and as well, X-class, X7.4 to be exact. So we've had a very quiet sun for the last couple of weeks. I've been talking about it and warning, expecting something big. Geomagnetic activity is currently low, and so is the KP index. But having a look here at the DRAP, highest frequency affected areas, this is where the high frequency X-class solar flare zapped our planet right over the central Pacific Ocean. right over Hawaii. Watch for an earthquake swarm and earthquake watch right across the Pacific right now. I put out an earthquake watch yesterday. We saw some sizable activity to report today. Having a look here at Space Weather Prediction Center as they have not updated their spiral. No new coronal mass ejections to talk about. A little green circle there on the right hand side is Earth. But ISWA Space Prediction Spiral is reporting an Earth-facing coronal mass ejection here visualized on their space weather spiral. Mercury still on the back side of our sun. We'll be making a Mercury retrograde in just a couple weeks. Having a look at Lasco 3, showing the last 48 hours of cosmic energies leaving our sun. You can see that bright star being Mercury going behind our sun. CME taking off to the left there. Small Earth facing CME there. And as well as something in the last few images, top right hand corner. Now let's get to earthquakes the past 24 hours. As forecasted here with daily events worldwide, we saw some strong large earthquakes. 6.6 .6 magnitude earthquake, Tonga region rung out today after a very deep and strong earthquake, Indonesia. Not only that, we had a strong 5.9 here. Philippines, right after the 6.6. .6, and this was after Babu, Indonesia, reported a 6.1 earthquake, but 587 kilometer depth. 
Very deep earthquake for the region. 4.6 earthquake here, Western Indian Antarctic Ridge, south of Australia. Very interesting earthquakes all of a sudden. And right now we have an active and erupting 66 volcanoes across the planet. 6.6 earthquake striking Tonga region, where we saw one of the strongest volcanic eruptions our planet has seen and able to witness the Hunga Tonga volcano. Carrying on here with earthquakes, earthquake off the shore of Kamchatka, minor seismicity building through Anchorage, earthquakes coming back to Hawaii, across the United States, USGS right now is reporting 226 earthquakes in the last 24 hours. Notable through Alaska as the minor seismicity is picking up, and as well the tremor numbers are picking up all across the Pacific Northwest, from Northern California up to the Juan de Fuca. Minor seismicity here across the New Madrid from Tennessee westward. And nothing new or major swarms to report across California state. But interesting activity building across the Pacific Northwest. Heads up, my friends and family, still earthquakes to come. Rare earthquakes here, Libertad, Ecuador, 4.7. And as well, look at all these 4.6, 4.5 just north of Peru, 4.4 earthquake there in Chile, northern Chile. Quiet across the African plate, not much to report through Europe. It's mostly the big earthquakes that we saw today across the Pacific Ocean, 6.6 .6 magnitude earthquake, Honga Tonga, Tonga region, and as well the 6.1 Indonesia. This is a look at the last seven days for Shakers across the planet. I want to take a quick moment to thank you all for tuning in tonight. And please don't forget to give a thumbs up. Get in the comments section. Let me know where you're watching from. Maybe timestamp your favorite part of this video as there's lots of information shared here. Share with your friends and family as well. Much love, everybody. Prayers for humanity. And please stay safe and healthy out there. It's the last seven days. Something's building. We're going to see something big over an 8 magnitude. I sure hope not, but I do believe it's coming. Have a look here at the air quality forecast brought to you by our active and erupting volcanoes. Many volcanoes are spewing SO2 and ash and particulates through Kamchatka, Aleutian Islands, and as well, Mexico, Japan, Big low pressure system there over the North Pacific. That's something I'm pointing out today as well. Overlooking Southeast Asia, Africa, and Europe. Continuous eruptions at Mount Etna and as well volcanic regions all across Eastern Africa and the Arab states. Notable activity at the White Island volcano. Big eruption being observed there on satellite imagery. And look at all this SO2 that is swirling around New Zealand. Big eruptions northeast of New Zealand, New Caledonia, and the Solomon Islands. Big plume here off of the southwestern coast of South America. Big eruptions most likely at the Heard volcano. Maybe amongst other volcanoes that are erupting that they don't want to tell us about. Having a look here, satellite imagery at all these low pressure systems, tropical storms I was talking about. This is looking at today, but just yesterday, there were actually 11 tropical systems. One of them being Isaac on its way to Europe. Four right there through the Atlantic. Two right here through the Central Pacific. One underneath Hawaii. Massive low pressure system here. Heading and grinding up into BC and Alaska. Atmospheric river of moisture following in behind that. Another big low. And then we've got Typhoon uh, Julian. And as well, multiple tropical systems across the Pacific and Indian Ocean. 11 of them. I've never reported 11 tropical systems across our planet. I think the most that I've reported is 8. 11 is massive. Same as the massive sunspot regions, 11. Stay aware and prepared. And if you want to see the latest 
World Weather Forecast, check out last night's video, as I do give the five-day forecast, giving you forecast details of most of these tropical systems. But I wanted to share all this imagery with you. Huge system through the North Pacific. Huge systems in the South Pacific as well. Major typhoons, devastating Hurricane Helene. And look at this massive low pressure system off the coast of BC right now. It looks like a hurricane as it's grinding down the coastline. Look at this thing. It's massive. This low pressure system is about the size of Australia. Bringing mass amounts of moisture to southern BC. Cold temperatures across the prairies and as well northern BC, Alberta. Parts of Saskatchewan have seen snow already. And of course, higher elevations all through the Rockies. Stay aware and prepared because these forecasts will be changing drastically over the next few days. And thank you so much for being a part of this family. You will be seeing the most recent forecast tomorrow. Good night, everybody, and I hope you enjoyed the show. If you did, please don't forget to give a thumbs up. Much love, everybody. Sleep well. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody around the world. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.